Remember, like, share, subscribe. Michael Patterson, thank you for tuning in to the channel. And it's Michael Patterson all in. And I want to give you guys uh, some scriptures that I believe will definitely benefit you and can take you through life, help you through your day, whatever it is that, that you need. I believe it can be found in the word of God. Drink my water here, and we will get into a good lesson that I know all of us can benefit from. And I won't be before you long, but I think this, this message here is one, when you hear it, you can identify with a lot of people. Um, first of all, we want the Word of God to identify with us. We have to make sure that we get the correction first, then we can take the information that we've learned and we can share it with others, right? And it can help improve their lives. So don't look to change anybody's life before you start working to change your own. We don't want to be hypocrites, right? So let's work on changing our lives. It might not be perfect, but at least start the process of fixing your life before you start trying to fix somebody else's life. Now, now all of the pleasantries are out of the way. Let's hop into it. And remember to like, share, subscribe. So, Proverbs 23. No, I'm sorry. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 23. 14, 23. 14, 23. And it reads, In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury. So, that means poverty. Read it again. In all labor there is profit. Think on that for a second as I drink this water. But the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury. So what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? What you mean? What you talking about, Willis? In all labor, there is profit. So that means that no matter what I do, if I'm working a job, if I'm running a business, which I'm a business owner of multiple businesses, um, that's good. It says all labor, in all labor, there is profit. So if I'm working, I'm going to make money. But then it says, but the talk of the lips tended only to penury. So that means that a person that's just talking about working, that's just talking about what they're going to do, just talking about where they're going to go, just talking about the opportunities they're going to pursue, is only going to lead to poverty. Do you hear what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? So all the labor that you do, you're going to make money in it. But when it comes to just talking, and so let's talk about let's talk about that. So I can tell you now, because I'm 38 years old. I know I look younger, but I'm not um, 38 years old. So what I'm starting to realize right now is that, and I don't have any scientific data to prove it at this moment, uh, but if I need to, I can pull it up. But I feel like in between the ages of 35 and 40, people really get set in their ways. Whoever they have put practice into being up to this point, you pretty much can bank on them being that person to their last and dying day. So uh, right now, what I'm starting to see is some classmates uh, who have, you know, maybe been using drugs and they're using drugs. And they're going to be using drugs for a very long time because they've used it up to this point. And now you start to see that it takes effects on them in ways that are not beneficial. From the ways that they treat their kids to the way they treat themselves first. Now you're starting to see that they're starting to distance themselves from family or family is distancing, dis creating a distance. My tongue messed up today. It's creating a distance between them and the family, because the drug addiction has gotten in the way of them being a successful human being, being a successful person. So that's that's one thing that I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see now people that's 40 uh, that have lived their life like that for a while. They are accepting that they are who they are at this point, and they're not trying to do any more. And what I'm starting to hear and see is God still trying to live the old days, the old life. And it's so, it's not ha-ha funny, but funny to see uh, when you're looking at it. It's it's the 
the the the the Bundys all over again. You know, he was in his forties and fifties. He was working a job that he didn't like. He was married to a woman named Peggy that he didn't that he didn't like. He had kids that really didn't amount to anything because he didn't pour anything into his children. If you ever pay attention to the show, never poured anything. He just sat on the couch with his hands in his pants. Watch TV and look depressed every single day. Now, while all that was going on, the point that I want to make is he also could not let go of his high school years. He was 45 years old, still talking about high school football, as if he's still on the field, still on the gridiron, and what he would do. He was, oh, yeah, you see guys like this all the time. That's why I don't watch Super Bowl with nobody. Like, I watch Super Bowl with me, my wife. Um, and my kids. That's that's my Super Bowl party right there because if I go watch a Super Bowl party with some, with some folks, man, all you hear is old high school and maybe college football stories and talking about what they would have did. So you're watching the game and it goes like this. It's, oh, man, that boy, that was a sorry tackle right there. Jay boy, 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 uh, boy, boy, Coach James, man, if we'd have made a tackle like that back in the day, man, these kids did day, man, they... They don't understand. They don't understand. You know, uh, uh, I would have got up early in the morning. I would have been running because I wasn't going to let nobody beat me like that. I was dedicated to it. And I probably still can get out there now. You know, if I wasn't uh, the age that I'm at right now, I could still get out there now. If my knee wasn't, wasn't knocked out, man, I could have made it to the made it to, uh, to the NFL, man, no, no problem. So you got people that stuck and they had that conversation, right? Now, where is that conversation leading them? And I'm not talking about a person that makes an, account, an occasional conversation about high school football. I'm talking about a person that has taken up residence in the past. That's where they live. They're in the past. So because they're in the past, they don't see the opportunities in the present. Therefore, they cannot create a better future for themselves. And so when I'm looking at people who, uh, who have this problem, they talk about making money, but they never do anything to make the money. They don't. They say, man, it'd be a great idea if the city of XYZ had a restaurant that could do this or that. And they're like, yeah, that'd be good, man. You should do a barbecue a barbecue uh, restaurant because that'd be good. The city don't have that barbecue restaurant. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, like, so, so man, when you going to get on it? I'm going to get on it one day, man. I'm telling you, you're going to look up and that barbecue restaurant is going gonna, gonna to be up here and running five years later. Man, James, I told you, you need to have that barbecue restaurant, boy. I'm just telling you, and I've been telling you for a long time. And then you're like, yeah, I'm going to do it. 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 I'm telling you, I'm going to get up off my butt. The next year is, is, uh, is 2022, and so 2022 is all about you. That's what my pastor said. Well, you go through all of them changes, and guess what? 2022 comes by, and now all them years don't went by, and he never does anything. So this is why. The talk of the lips tended only to poverty. You're just talking about it, never putting a plan together. So let's talk about putting a plan together. All right, so if you're going to put a plan together, you got to have an idea, you got to have a vision first, right? So the vision is in place. You got your vision in place. Now, once you have your vision in place, you can write our action steps. I want a barbecue place, and the barbecue place is going to sell these particular items. Now you need to know how do I get these items? What's the price point? You know, put your plan all the way together. Now I need money to do it. Okay, so now I need to work on my personal credit. See, this is work. All in all in all labor, there is profit. All labor, there is profit. So man, I need to work on my personal credit so I can qualify for a loan so I can have the funding for the business. Oh, maybe I need to work on my business credit so I can have the money in order to do this business thing, right? So I put the plan together, I got the funding together, and now I need employees. Okay, well, who do I know that I can trust? Who's faithful? Who will come and they'll work for me? They'll work sun up, sun down, whatever I need. They'll do it. So now I'm ready to launch. I'm ready to get everything in place. I'm ready to go ahead and start my business because I did what? I wrote the vision down. I made it plain so they may run that read it. Then. So when they read it, they know exactly where they are supposed to go. So now you have gone from being the person that's just talking and not being able to make a profit. You want to make profit in all that you do because you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your family. You have to take care of your community. And you cannot do it 
without having money in place, it makes it a whole lot easier. Money is not the only way to give uh, to give back, but it is one of the greatest ways to do it. It helps with everything. So, read the scripture one more time. In all labor, there is profit. But the talk of lips tendeth only to punery. So that's talking about being becoming poor. If you talk about it and don't be about it, you will manifest nothing.